During a sea star doesn't just take off, it escapes. Built for adventure and utility, this amphibious twin-engine aircraft glides as effortlessly across water as it does through the skies. Equipped with two powerful Pratt and Whitney PT-6A135A turboprop engines mounted in a push-pull configuration atop the fuselage, the Sea Star can cruise at over 300 km per hour 160 knots with a range of over 900 nautical miles. What sets it apart is its all-composite airframe, corrosion-resistant, lightweight, and ideal for operating in harsh coastal environments. Whether it's hopping between island resorts, conducting marine patrols, or serving remote communities, the Sea Star is built for versatility. It can land on runways or open water, turning oceans and lakes into airstrips. It's not just an aircraft, it's a key to places that others can't reach. The Scalewings SW-51 Mustang is a remarkable aircraft, blending the classic aesthetic of the P-51 Mustang with modern aviation technology, and that includes impressive performance capabilities. Notably, when equipped with the Rotax 916 is and an MT-4 blade propeller, the SW-51 Mustang achieves a cruise speed of approximately 180 kta's knots true airspeed at FL-150 flight level 150, or 15,000 feet. Furthermore, it boasts a design vein velocity never exceed of 216 kts, allowing for dynamic flying. This combination of speed and modern engine technology, like the Rotax engines used, allows for both efficient and exciting flight experiences. The Vickers Swallow was an ambitious experimental aircraft project developed in the 1950s by British engineer Barnes Wallace, best known for designing the World War II bouncing bomb. What set the Swallow apart was its variable geometry, or swing wing, design, wings that could change their angle mid-flight to adapt for both high-speed and low-speed performance. It was envisioned as a high-speed transport and military aircraft, capable of reaching speeds over Mach 2, while still being efficient at takeoff and landing. The concept impressed both the British government and NASA, with early research eventually influencing later designs like the American F-111 and the B-1 Lancer. However, due to shifting defense priorities and funding issues, the Swallow never progressed beyond wind tunnel testing and scale models. Though it never flew, the Vickers Swallow remains a significant step in the evolution of advanced aircraft design. This is Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2, a sleek, rocket-powered craft built not for crossing countries, but for touching the edge of space. Suspended beneath its mothership, White Knight 2, it soars to high altitude before igniting its hybrid rocket engine, propelling its passengers into a realm where Earth curves below and the sky fades to black. Made from cutting-edge carbon composite materials, Spaceship 2 combines elegance with engineering brilliance. Inside, six passengers experience moments of true weightlessness, floating freely while gazing at the vastness of space through large panoramic windows. Its unique feathered wing system ensures a gentle, controlled re-entry back to Earth. This isn't the future of travel, it's the beginning of a new era, where spaceflight isn't limited to astronauts, but open to anyone bold enough to look up and say, I want to go there. The Airbus Beluga XL is a large transport aircraft, derived from the Airbus A33200F, designed to carry oversized aircraft components. It was developed by Airbus to replace the older Beluga ST, offering increased cargo capacity. The Beluga XL is crucial for transporting large sections of Airbus aircraft, such as wings and fuselage parts, between the company's various production sites across Europe. Its distinctive whale-like shape and large cargo bay allows it to carry two A350XWB wings simultaneously, significantly improving logistical efficiency. The aircraft is powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines and plays a vital role in Airbus's production and assembly operations. Oh. 
Tignum's P2006 T and G series is a lightweight, twin-engine aircraft that blends modern efficiency with proven reliability. Powered by two Rotax 912 S3 engines, it delivers a cruising speed of around 250 km per hour 135 knots and a maximum range of over 1,300 km, all while keeping fuel consumption remarkably low. Built primarily from aluminum for ease of maintenance and durability, the P-2 is certified for both VFR and IFR operations, making it ideal for flight training, surveillance, and personal travel. Its updated NG Next Generation variant features a fully digital Garmin G1000 NG avionics suite, redesigned interiors, and improved aerodynamics for enhanced comfort and performance. With seating for four, low operating costs, and short runway capability, the P2006 TNG proves that you don't need a jet to fly smart, safe, and efficiently across regions. It's practical aviation, refined. PAL-V Liberty isn't just a flying car, it's a new category of freedom. Built for those who want the road and the sky in one seamless journey, this Dutch-made marvel transforms from a sleek three-wheeled vehicle into a fully functional gyroplane in just minutes. On the road, it reaches speeds up to 160 km per hour, and in the air, it cruises at 180 km per hour, with a flying range of around 500 km. Powered by dual Rotax engines, the Liberty is as capable as it is compact, needing only a short strip to take off and land. Inside, the cockpit feels more like a high-end sports car than an aircraft, leather seats, intuitive controls, and every inch crafted with precision. It's fully certified for both air and road travel, making it not just a concept, but a reality. Pal-V Liberty isn't about getting from A to B, it's about owning every part of the journey, from asphalt to open sky. Aralis Advanced Jet Trainer represents a new direction in military aviation, one that prioritizes modularity, cost efficiency, and long-term adaptability. Developed in the UK, this jet is designed to do more with less by utilizing a modular airframe system, allowing multiple mission roles, from basic training to light combat, using a single fuselage and interchangeable wings, tails, and engines. It's projected to reach speeds over Mach 0.9, offering performance close to frontline fighters while remaining affordable to operate and maintain. The cockpit is built with fully digital avionics, training pilots on systems they'll use in next-generation aircraft. Aralis is not just an aircraft, it's a flexible solution for modern air forces looking to streamline fleets, reduce training costs, and stay ready for rapid technological change. Imagine an aircraft that doesn't just fly, it floats, sustained by sunlight and silence. That's the promise behind the Deary Solar solar-powered airship. Designed for low-altitude missions, this innovative craft uses solar energy harvested through onboard photovoltaic panels to power its electric propulsion system, offering a flight solution with zero emissions and almost no noise. It operates between 300 and 1,000 meters, cruising gently at speeds of 50 to 70 kilometers per hour, making it perfect for surveillance, environmental research, and aerial photography. Its large helium-filled envelope provides natural lift, while its lightweight frame allows for long-duration flights without refueling. Traffic? Irrelevant. The ATEA Hybrid Electric VTOL is rewriting how we move through cities, vertically, quietly, and fast. Developed by French innovators at Ascendance Flight Technologies, ATEA boasts a top speed of 200 km per hour and a range of 400 km, blending electric propulsion with a hybrid power system that extends its capabilities far beyond battery-only flight. Its striking design features eight duct rotors integrated into fixed wings for vertical takeoff and landing, while ensuring smooth, efficient forward flight. Emissions are slashed, noise is dramatically reduced, and it needs no runway, just a helipad. With space for five passengers, ATEA targets urban and regional routes, medevac missions, and even tourism.
HX-2 is the kind of aircraft that looks like it belongs in tomorrow's world. Developed by Extra Aircraft, this futuristic, two-seat, low-profile plane is built almost entirely from carbon fiber, giving it exceptional strength and ultralight weight. With a projected cruising speed of over 300 km per hour 160 plus knots and a range of nearly 1,500 km, it's designed for speed, endurance, and efficiency. The aircraft's sleek, blended body design isn't just for show, it reduces drag dramatically and contributes to its low radar signature, making it ideal for surveillance and research missions. Inside, the cockpit is streamlined and modern, reflecting the aircraft's forward-thinking DNA. The Starraker refers to a conceptual single-stage to orbit SSTO space plane design developed by Rockwell International in the late 1970s. This ambitious project aimed to revolutionize space transportation by creating a reusable vehicle capable of horizontal takeoff and landing, much like a conventional aircraft. The Starraker was envisioned to carry substantial payloads to low Earth orbit, particularly to support the construction of large-scale solar power satellites. Its design incorporated a hybrid propulsion system, combining air-breathing engines for atmospheric flight and rocket engines for the final ascent into orbit. While the Starraker never progressed beyond the conceptual stage, its innovative design and goals have left a lasting impact on the pursuit of more efficient and cost-effective space travel. The Robinson R-88 represents a significant expansion of Robinson Helicopters' product line, marking their entry into the larger, single-engine turbine helicopter market. Designed for versatility, the R-88 accommodates up to 10 occupants and is intended for a range of missions, including passenger transport, aerial firefighting, air medical services, and utility work. Key features include a powerful Saffron Aerial 2W engine, advanced Garmin avionics, and a configurable cabin. The R-88 aims to provide a cost-effective and capable solution with enhanced payload and range capabilities, while maintaining Robinson's focus on safety and ease of operation. The Vision VTOL quadcopter is a cutting-edge vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed for efficiency, versatility, and futuristic mobility. With its sleek, aerodynamic design and advanced propulsion system, this quadcopter seamlessly combines the agility of a drone with the practicality of a personal air vehicle. It is equipped with powerful electric motors and a lightweight frame, allowing for smooth vertical lift, stable flight, and precise control. Ideal for urban air mobility, surveillance, or recreational use, the Vision VTOL quadcopter represents the next step in aerial innovation, offering a glimpse into the future of personal and professional airborne transport. Sukhoi Su-57 is Russia's answer to fifth-generation air dominance, a multi-role stealth fighter built to strike fast, vanish faster, and outmaneuver anything in its path. Designed with a low radar signature, internal weapons bays, and thrust vectoring engines, the Su-57 blends stealth with supermaneuverability, a rare and deadly combination. It reaches speeds of over Mach 2 and boasts a combat radius of nearly 1,500 kilometers, making it a true long-range hunter. Inside, advanced avionics, sensor fusion, and AI-assisted targeting systems give the pilot full battlefield awareness. It's capable of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and even electronic warfare missions. What sets it apart is how it doesn't just match Western stealth fighters, it challenges them with agility, power, and raw presence. In a world shifting toward vertical mobility, Stratosphere Volatile dares to break the mold. This radical VTOL concept is designed around a bold idea that flying should feel as natural and personal as driving. Its ring-wing architecture isn't just for looks, it's an aerodynamic innovation that could redefine how lift and stability are managed mid-air. At the center sits a sleek cabin pod, envisioned to carry passengers with minimal noise and maximum efficiency. 
Powered by a hybrid electric propulsion system, Stratosphera Volatile aims to combine clean energy with sharp performance, offering vertical takeoff and smooth, jet-like cruise speeds. While specific numbers are still under wraps, its purpose is crystal clear, to offer futuristic urban flight in a form that's not just functional, it's iconic. This isn't a distant dream. It's the kind of concept that pushes boundaries now, so flying tomorrow feels effortless.